an important part of our everyday lives is being able to see the world in colour. Colour can evoke many emotions and can be used to attract us in many different ways. Light is both a particle and a wave, resulting in light being a wavelength. And so, the colour of an object is the length and frequency of the wavelength of light it reflects. The electromagnetic spectrum shows how light can vary from high energy short wavelengths like gamma rays to low energy long wavelengths like radio waves. From this enormous range of wavelengths, we only get to see the wavelengths of light concerning the visible light spectrum, which ranges from violet light which has a wavelength of around 400 nanometers to red light which has a wavelength of around 650 to 700 nanometers. An example of light interaction is when light is absorbed by a banana. The banana absorbs all colours except for yellow, which is reflected back and why we perceive bananas to be yellow. However, under black light, bananas are actually perceived as blue. When light is reflected off an object into our eyes, it enters the first layer called the cornea, which directs the light towards the pupil. The pupil can contract and dilate depending on the intensity of light. Light then passes through to the lens which bends light to help it reach the back of the eye to a place called the retina. The retina contains two different types of light receptors known as rods and cones. The rods are responsible for our perception of light and dark, whereas cones are responsible for our perception of colour and are located in the centre of the retina. We have three types of cones, red, green and blue, yet we have the ability to see things in many different colours. The brain does this by using a combination of the three different cone receptors. For example, to see yellow, both the red and green cones are activated and sends a signal to the brain to visualise the colour yellow. White occurs when all three cones are fired completely, while black is perceived when no cones are activated. Other animals have different seeing abilities. For example, butterflies have four different types of cones in their eyes, allowing them to see ultraviolet light. It's a totally different picture for dogs as they only have two different types of cone receptors, making them colorblind to differences between red and green. However, more number of cones in the eye does not necessarily translate to better color vision. The mantis shrimp has 12 different types of cone receptors, yet a 2014 study showed that they don't in fact have a particularly good color vision. Each cone's firing range is narrow, suggesting each pixel by unique color, this allows sufficient processing for the brain, so it does not have to weigh up millions of inputs just to determine colour. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.